From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Pharmacist On Call. Good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky. Those of you as far west as Jackson. Those of you as far east as McMinnville. Welcome to Pharmacist On Call with your host, Dr. Sean Pruin. And if you're watching this show, I am your community pharmacist. Well, everyone, welcome to our June edition of Pharmacist On Call. This is your one-hour forum where you get to call in and ask those uh, burning questions that you're unable to ask because your doctors are busy and your pharmacists are busy. Uh, they don't have time. But for this one hour today, I I do. So call in with your questions and your comments. Uh, today we're going to start out as we usually do with our um, our birthday shout outs and what have you. Uh, so we got a short list here. wanted to uh, send a happy belated birthday to my uh, big sister Kimberly Thomas uh, who's a uh, director of regulatory affairs over there at Meharry, and happy birthday to my youngest brother, uh, Aaron Hardy, over at THDA. Uh, so happy birthday with y'all. We just had a pretty good time in Orlando, Florida. Uh, with a, a family vacation, uh, so a good time for us to get together. Uh, also wanted to uh, uh, mention Juneteenth. We'll get into it a little bit later, but it'll be June 19th. Uh, Saturday, June 19th, there are a number of events planned, and, I, and I'll probably look uh, during the uh, the break here and see if I can get the calendar. I don't know why I didn't have that handy. Uh, so happy Juneteenth coming up, uh, celebrating, commemorating uh, the last of us who got word that we were emancipated as slaves uh, in the United States. Okay, so it looks like uh, we will uh, jump into some COVID-19 talk and then, of course, into supplement talks until you guys start to call in. Uh, so the way that it looks right now, uh, the COVID-19 numbers are starting to trend down somewhat. And it also looks like, uh, as you all know, uh, many of the uh, country cities uh, in the country have begun to relax their mask standards. So I believe it's the CDC now no longer mandating uh, for those persons who are fully vaccinated. So in the city, uh, you can pretty much see here in Nashville, uh, you know, not too many masks. Uh, there are still some, uh, but as far as outside, I believe you're cool. Uh, on the inside, if you're fully vaccinated, you no longer have to wear a mask. Um, personally, I probably encourage you to do it for those of you unvaccinated vaccinated or unvaccinated, uh, make sure you still wear your masks. Uh, we do have some variants out there that may uh, pose a problem to us a little later down the road. We've got uh, the B117, uh, we've got a South African variant, we have an Indian variant, and then uh, I believe that there was one that just popped up from somewhere else. Uh, so be on the lookout, um, you know, as the fall kind of lingers in, but it looks like the masking measures. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, due to vaccinations or not, but I guess you could, in theory, uh, give some of the credit to that uh, as well. Uh, so it looks like we are trending out down in our numbers, in our uh, cases, our deaths. Uh, so kudos, America, Nashville in particular. Uh, we, we do still want to be vigilant. We do still want to do things like uh, boost our immune system. Uh, just because it's gone, we want to make sure that we preemptively uh, try to get as healthy as we can. Uh, and so that's where something like uh, vitamin supplementation and something like Dr. Pruitt's potion comes in, which has done really well with regards to helping people who had active COVID disease, people who could not breathe, who were too weak to move, recover quickly. Usually within one to two days, uh, you start to get your breathing back, you get your energy back and get rid of most of the side effects. For those of you who have been taking it preventatively, uh, now I made this stuff, started making it about right at a year ago, and no one who has took it has said that they've tested positive uh, so or, or developed the virus. Uh, so if you wanna just prevent infection altogether, Give your immune system what it needs so that it can stave off infection. If you have active infection or know someone with active infection, then certainly let them know about Dr. Pruitt's potion. Uh, it's uh, four ingredients, uh, black seed oil, which we also call Nigella sativa. Uh, it has raw organic honey. It has vitamin D oil and it has coconut oil. So all of these I researched uh, again about a year ago when there was no uh, vaccine or anything, um, you know, certainly on the, on the horizon. And I took a look to see 
how was this virus killing us? How was it, you know, making people succumb to it? And it looked like, based on the people uh, who were passing away, that inflammation and blood clots were the two main ways that uh, COVID-19 uh, was taking people out of here. So that means your lungs, uh, inflammation, so it's hard to breathe. Your heart, inflammation, which you probably call myocarditis now. Um, your kidneys, your pancreas, your liver, all of those inflamed, all those organs. In addition to that, blood clots. And so it is disrupting the blood supply to your liver, uh, to your heart, to your kidneys, to your lungs, and that leads to destruction of the organs. So that leads to respiratory distress. Well, it looks like we got our first call here. So we're gonna get back into COVID and Dr. Pruitt's potion here in a second. Pharmacist on call, let me help you. Yes, I'm waiting to be talked to the doctor. Go ahead, ma'am. You're you're on the show oh, right now. Sorry. Uh, what I want to know: Do you have a portion for diabetic nerve damage? Neuropathy. Mm -hmm. We have. Uh, I don't have it up here, but we have uh, our pharmacist blends hemp oil. And uh, so, yes, ma'am, in fact, if you're in the Nashville area, I would invite you to come to the pharmacy and get a sample of it. So uh, I've said for years on this show that whoever came up with a solution for neuropathy would be a rich man. And so it looks like uh, we have that in our hemp oil right now. Okay, and could you t tell me what the ingredients are in this uh portion he's got for COVID because I've had I've had the disease uh -huh. but I had one shot and I hadn't had anything since then and they gave me uh, antibodies when I got ready to come out the hospital okay all right good deal so uh I, yeah I was just explaining it so it's four things it is uh black seed oil it is vitamin d oil coconut oil and uh Raw honey, I almost forgot my ingredients there. And I'm gonna go into in depth to talk about why I picked each ingredient uh, here in a minute once I hang up with you. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. well I think, and I, I need to know some more. I'm, I'm taking the portion. Yes ma'am. You know, that I got, and that would keep me from getting it again. It's giving your body what you need, so no, you will not. So nobody in this past year has developed COVID-19 since they've been taking this. Okay, so by me taking this, I won't get COVID again. That's what I'm trying to find out. Ma'am, I think since you've had it, you built up antibodies and some immunity to it, and certainly uh -huh. the potion is going to add to that. It's right. going to strengthen your antibody production. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you for the call. Uh -huh. All right, so yeah, good question there. You know, um, do I uh, do I you know have to worry about catching it again? Uh, if I, you know, you know, I've already had it. We're not sure how much uh, the immunity lasts. So we're guessing somewhere between three, six months. It may even be a year. Uh, but what I say is on the front end, go ahead and protect yourself. So she asked about the ingredients and why I put in what I put in. So the first one uh, being black seed oil. Black seed oil uh, does the primary job on remodulating the immune system because what happens is we have two types of immunity. Uh, so listen closely, get your pen and paper down. We have a myeloid immune system and we have a lymphoid immune system. The myeloid is where when something foreign comes into our body, our body sends stuff to cause inflammation to try to kill it off. So for you science nerds out there, uh, your interleukin-2, interleukin-6, interleukin-8, uh, cytokines like uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha, uh, you know, and those types of things that are meant to make the body very uncomfortable, but it's an effort to try to destroy whatever the pathogen is. On the second hand, you have your lymphoid immune system, which basically is your antibody production. So this produces the antibodies to help your body fight off whatever's circulating in the blood. What COVID-19 does is it puts the myeloid immunity in hyperdrive. And that's where you people see, you start seeing folks developing uh, lung conditions like pneumonia and all of that, the inflammation. It also makes your blood thicker. So hypercoagulable, as we will say, it helps to form blood clots. So what the, uh, 
the virus does, shoot up the myeloid, and decreases how well your immune system kicks out antibodies. So it decreases your antibody production, ramps up the, my, um, the inflammation. What Dr. Pruitt's potion does through black seed oil is downregulate that myeloid so it reduces the inflammation in your lungs, your kidneys, your heart. It reduces the, uh, the thickness of the blood, that, uh, that hypercoagulable state, uh, prevents those blood clots from setting in. And so now, you, whereas you had those blood clots and that inflammation and they couldn't get that air through, your, through to your lungs. Uh, so I know y'all remember when they were talking about the respirators. Well, this was before we knew that blood clots were the problem. And so no amount of respirator was gonna get enough air with blood clots and inflammation being there. Now that we know that, we've now gone to blood thinner therapy natural blood thinner therapy to help uh, dissolve those clots to keep your blood thin and flowing. The other thing that this does is since we know that COVID-19 tries to destroy your, your antibody production, this ramps up your antibody production. And so it stimulates your lymphoid uh, immune system. So that is the way that the black seed oil portion, portion works. Um, the, uh, the other piece is it also disrupts uh, the uh, replication of the virus uh, once it gets in, you know, through the S protein. Uh, but we're going to get back into that. We're up on our first break right now. You all stay right there.